Okay, we are live, Tara. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, it's like we've never done this before. So thank you for joining us. Um, I am T.S. Bell from Protest and Suffragettes, and I'm here with Darren and Lydia from Broad Talent. And we are really excited to be hosting this second live chat all about Scotland's suffrage education pack developed by Protest and Suffragettes in collaboration with the beautiful minds next to me. So let's see, I am going to do a very brief introduction and then I'm going to hand over to Lydia and Darren to explain more about the pack and specifically the educational resources. But before I do that, may I just say um, we are streaming to Facebook, Twitter and YouTube protests and suffragettes channels. So if you have questions, please go ahead and put them, you can put them in now and or as we're speaking and we'll answer those. So we're gonna have about 15 minutes of presentations and then 10 or 15 minutes of conversation, hopefully. So, and we're really looking forward to hearing from some teachers who have been using some of the resources in the education pack. So uh, first, maybe some introductions, if that's all right. And I'll share my screen as we go along. So I'm a socially engaged artist and I founded Protest and Suffragettes in 2013. We didn't talk about this so much the last time, but I thought it would be useful um, in this second live chat for us to also speak about our qualifications as teachers or like experience that we have as teachers. So mm -hmm. I have a doctorate in heritage engagement and my own creative practice. And I also maybe more usefully in terms of this conversation, I taught for seven years in secondary schools part time as part of a widening access program called Top Up. And as I said, I'm here with Darren and Lydia and I'll just let them introduce themselves. Can you hear me? Yeah, Darren sorry, thought I would be lost connection there. No worries. Um, so I was just blathering on, and then I was gonna, I was gonna ask the both of you to um, introduce yourselves, and then I'll speak a little bit about the pack, if that's okay. Great. Yep. Great. So um, I'm Darren Osborne, and I'm one of the directors of Broad Talent. My background is in uh, visual communication, um, graphic design, filmmaking, and I'm also a qualified teacher of art and design at um, secondary schools. Um, I'm also a fine art graduate um, in painting and printmaking um, and also a qualified teacher um, for um, art in, from, in secondary schools. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to briefly introduce the education pack, explain what's in it and a little bit of our journey in developing it and then hand over very quickly um, to Darren and Lydia. So first, without, without further delay, just to speak a little bit about what's actually in the pack itself. So um, each education pack has within it seven decks of suffragette trumps cards, which I'll show a little bit a few more images about um, in a moment. It has um, 10 copies of a bespoke zine titled Rent Strikers and Suffragettes, which as, as, as you would expect covers both some activists who were involved in the rent strike as well, the 1915 rent strike in Glasgow, as well as Glasgow and govan based suffragettes. And there are downloadable teaching resources, which is of course what we're here to talk about today. Some of you might be aware that during lockdown 2020, we had a crowdfunder and we raised just under 20,400 pounds. So that was 276% of our target with almost 300 individual supporters, uh, including some match funding from Creative Scotland. And it's just important to say that that's the reason that we're here, that we were able to develop those resources um, they also, th those funds and also our crowdfunder supporters, you know, big props to you because <laughs> we would not be here without them. Um, that really allowed us to both research Scot Scottish suffrage activists from every region of Scotland, but also um, to produce the deck of cards. And for that, we worked with academic advisors and key organizations like Glasgow Women's Library, Women's History Scotland, 
to nominate and research activists who fought for for the for the vote for women um, from every region. And we were very committed to make sure that the deck of cards has activists from every region of Scotland. Um, and similarly, we are giving packs um, and we are almost done. We've shipped 96 packs and this week we will ship two more. Um, and we have two that we'll do as a giveaway, which if we have time, I'll speak about um, at the end. But so we're giving 100 education packs um, and those packs, you know, feature it's 1000 zines, it's 700 decks of suffragette Trump's cards and the digital resources as well. Um, that is mostly all I wanted to say just to end by pointing out that myself and the other members of the protest and suffragettes team are really, are really kind of passionate about inspiring the next generation of change makers. And we really want to provide teachers in Scotland with beautifully designed, dynamic, memorable, and really fun resources which are robustly researched, researched so that every young person in Scotland knows that there were activists who were living pretty much next door to them or down the road from them or in their, their specific locality, there were people who worked and affected change and they were precise about it. So there were precise sort of actions and ideas and strategies that they employed. Um, on that, this is the last thing I'll say, just to highlight that, we had almost 300 applications from teachers and schools for the 100 packs that we had. So if you are a teacher or a school with the pack, you know, you're one of 100, literally. <laughs> um, but also that we're raising funds um, to be able to produce more free packs. Um, and in that, we have some really very, very partial, but I think some very beautiful posters that we have for sale, as well as zines um, and the decks of Trump's cards. And you can find those on our shop. And um, don't forget, again, to if you have questions, please go ahead and ask those now. And I'll hand over to Lydia and Darren. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, so um, we'll just, I'm just going to quickly do a very brief summary of, of the pack, just in case you, you missed it um, two weeks ago in our, our live stream. You can go back and watch that if you want to see this in a, a wee bit more detail. Um, but really what we want to do is to create an educational resource that wasn't intimidating, that, that any teacher could sort of pick up and feel that they could comfortably develop um, lessons and create um, really positive learning experiences for, for the young people in front of them. So it was really important to try and get that balance that a, that a primary teacher could could pick this up and not feel intimidated by the, the content in it or the, the lessons that and activities that we've, we've put in there. But also that, um, you know, teachers in high school that are maybe more specialized subjects could also pick it up and adapt it and sort of build on it. So it's very much um, a, flight, a flexible and sort of adaptable foundation that we've sort of tried to create here um, that, that really relies on the expertise of all the amazing teachers out there um, to, to adapt it and um, create really interesting lessons and fun lessons. But we, we hope that this resource helps helps you to build that. Um, and also, um, we said from the start, we're really keen for it to be really cross-curricular. And um, naturally, there'll be probably a lot more um, modern studies and history teachers who are maybe drawn to the, the subject matter. But we're really passionate about, um, you know, teachers in creative subjects being interested in it as well, you know, right across all the different curricular areas in, in the school. Um, just as an example, um, there's a sort of the we've got a banners activity in there, um, which we've, we've got enough in there that any teacher in primary or in or in a modern studies or history class could take that on and deliver something. But if you're sharing that with maybe the art department, they can bring a whole new level of um, expertise to that as well. Maybe look at typography, look at um, color theory and branding and printing techniques, and sort of create. Um, really sort of exciting banners. And the same goes if, if you're an art teacher, I've got the pack working with um, teachers in, in the social um, subjects um, and certain elements would, would really bring um, a lot of value to the lessons as well. So really hope that it can be kind of cross curricular as well. Um, so we'll just quickly go through um, the sort of sections and the contents of the pack. Um, we've, we've tried to split this into three sort of areas that we feel give a good structure um to to the subject so section one just kind of explores 
the basic history. Um, so there's lessons in there that are sort of timelines that look at some of the language that um, people might not be familiar with or might not use very often. So it explores um, young people's knowledge of that and so we can sort of build on it as the, the pack progresses, as the, as the lessons progress. Um, and also just looking at how the, the goal of the, the suffrage activists was achieved. So all the sort of basic history there. Section two um, kind of goes more into um, sort of learning from the suffrage activists. So it's kind of developing higher order thinking skills. It's um, considering understanding how it relates to, to their life and to society now. Um, and considering sort of young people's own beliefs and causes that are, are close to them and thinking how learning from the suffrage activists can sort of inspire their own ideas and hopefully um, creating tomorrow's sort of change makers, um, empowering them to think how, how they can, um, I guess, fight for their own causes that are close to them, and which I think is so relevant just now with all the stuff going on with um, those Black Lives Matter and COP26 and sort of referendums and stuff. So we, we just want to um, show them that there's a platform there that they can um, use to um, fight for their own causes that are close to them in their own communities and things. Um, and section three, I guess, is sort of putting that learning into action and it's given sort of um, tangible um, outputs for what they've learned. And so it's all about creating um, their own campaign for um, these causes that they have sort of identified that's close to them. So that's that's the kind of structure that we've kind of put in place as, as a basis. And hopefully as um, teachers, you're able to use that and build on that um, for your lessons. Um, so we're just going to go on to section four, which we didn't cover in the last video. Um, and Lydia is going to take you through that a little bit um, just now. So as Darren said, we really hope this is an adaptable resource and something you can really make your own and relevant to your subject area or what your young people might be interested in. Um, so here we've listed a bunch of additional resources. And one reason we made this pack digital is because we want it to grow, we want it to be um, expanded upon, and we wanted to um, have it as something that um, we can really uh, develop over time and add things to. So if you know resource, as I'm saying this, if you know resources near you or resources that should be added, please get in touch because we would love to see this grow and develop. Um, so the first section is looking at books because we think this really links to literacy as well. Um, and a lot of, I know a lot of classes out there have maybe a, a book they're working through or a novel they're working through. And we've listed a bunch of different books here that we think could be relevant. Um, and that looks at suffrage um, and you could tie it alongside this pack. We've also developed, since we've developed the pack, we found this um, book by Jacqueline Wilson as well. And this could be really good for younger, maybe primary, older primary or S1, S2 um, to go alongside some of these other resources that we've added in there. So again, we'll next time we update the pack, we'll add that one in there as long as long, along with any of your suggestions as well. Um, the next section is a really great resource that Into Film has available. Um, it looks at this film Suffragette, which is uh, quite recently released, um, fairly recently. And it's got all these different activities and lesson plans you, you can do along with this. So this is another resource, um, especially if you want to look at suffrage in a wider context across Britain um, and tie that into your learning as well. And it, who doesn't love a good movie? It's great. It's nice for young people just to see that and have that experience brought to life for them. Um, one of these which I'm ex really excited about, it's close to my heart, is the Wikipedia um, archive. And this is something the protest and suffragette teams has worked really hard on and really championed, along with many other people across Scotland. Um, and what we've tried really hard to do is make sure every single trump card has its own entry on Wikipedia. Um, and this is something that we're constantly updating. We've got Wikithons all across the year. And so new research that we're finding about these incredible women are constantly being added to this resource. And it's something, hopefully, if, if you're interested in one of the cards or your classes or you want to do further research, this could be a resource that people could look further um, at and explore these incredible women near them. Um, alongside this, we've got other resources. Um, 
we know that you, the, the heart of this pack is, I know so many of you guys have been asked to talk about more Scottish history, um, but also where do you find this information? Where do you find these resources? And this is something we really want to make available to you guys um, where you can find this. So we've added a bunch of really relevant links for Scottish suffrage um, if you want to explore this further. Um, but we've also added links on um, wider um, suffrage as a whole in Britain. So really great resources across the UK that's available for suffrage. Um, and again, if you know really any great uh, links that you think should be part of this list, please let us know because we'd love to expand this list as well and see that, um, see all these amazing resources um, come together and that list grow. Yeah, we're, we're also very keen to include um, places in Scotland that um, are relevant to the, the suffrage activist um, kind of movement. So we've, we've also included a section here that is all about visiting suffrage and um, looking at some of these places that might be worth um, visiting as, as class visits. Um, you know, it's just trying to, I guess, give context to the learning, letting young people go and see these these places that, that do exist. Um, um, and also just highlight as well how widespread um, the, the movement was. Um, so we've got lots of places here. We've got places in, we've got Suffrage Oak, which also has a card. Um, so that's also in the uh, Kelvin Grove in Glasgow. We've got Dundee's Women's Trail, which is um, commemorates 25 women in Dundee. Um, there's, there's memorials all over the city. Seven of those are um, related to the, the suffrage uh, movement. So again, really, really relevant if you are studying, um, if, you're, if you're learning about the suffrage movement, to go and visit those if you're in the Dundee area. Um, we think it's really important to let the young people know that this happened on their doorstep. This was people who will be will have been related to them, who are ancestors. Um, and we want to really highlight that. That's why we've got this section here. We would love it to sort of be more widespread. We've got places in Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, um, Dundee. We would you know suffrage um, activism took place in the Orkney Islands. It took place in the um, Outer Hebrides. It's everywhere. And we'd love to have more places on here. So if you know of places that are relevant to suffrage activism in Scotland, please do send them over and we can add them on here as well. We've got some of the other that, um, you know, we know that they were relevant to suffrage movement, but they're not necessarily referenced there. So there's a few places there that might be worth a visit. Um, my page isn't changing. But yeah, if you know of places that you, you think are relevant, please do let us know, we'll add that to the pack. We're hoping this pack is going to evolve and become something even more um, useful for you. So please do send them over. Um, and just this last section with additional ideas, um, we had so many ideas, but we, we tried to bring it together of just a few highlights of some of the key ideas. Um, and again, this is something that we hope can really grow um, and really an interdisciplinary space. Um, we think we're, we're both art teachers. So when we hear um, suffrage and we think, oh, how can we make this relevant to our lessons? Um, but I know also there's so many other subjects which it would be relevant to. We've mentioned literacy um, as well as other um, different departments. We've got um, music, we've got poetry, um, as well as obviously social studies and um, different uh, subjects like that. So what one thing that we're excited about is maybe doing an interdisciplinary project, um, but looking at there's links to jewelry, there's links to fashion, um, the suffrage, we mentioned last week that the suffrage jets were the first um, uh, kind of group to create a brand identity with color, which is really exciting. Um, and we think so relevant, but also they were incredible artists. They were incredible with fashion, incredible illustrators, um, jewelry, medals, um, rosettes. Um, so there's so much material there that we can use as inspiration and, and that can tie in with um, different subjects with that. Um, and if you've got ideas that you think, oh, I could do this or that, please let us know because this is something we're wanting to expand and have as kind of that conversational space to see that grow um, as, as different ways this could be applied to different curricular areas and used in interdisciplinary projects as well. Um, yeah, yeah, I think just just to reiterate that, like if, if you have ideas, please do share them with us and thank you so much to the to the schools and the classes that have taken part already um, in some of these lessons. I've been sending us over some photographs of, of them at work. Um, 
and please, I mean, keep them coming, but also do send us ones if you're adapting lessons. We'd really love to see see what you're doing and share those and can adapt our, our own activities that we're, we're sort of providing. We really do hope that this project continues to grow um, and we can make it more meaningful. Um, if it's some schools send over KWL charts, uh, some people use these, some people tend uh, prefer not to, but um, we've put it in there in case you do want to use it. Some schools have sent over filled in KWL charts. So we would just love to looking through these and seeing the sort of evolution of young people's learning um, just through their, their first few um, lessons and activities they've done. So it's so, so exciting um, for us to see, to see it in use now. So please do um, keep letting us know. Um, also in this section, we've, we've put a little page with just some of the experiences outcomes. You know, there'll be so many more when you're adapting these lessons. You have so many more that you can sort of um, sort of tick off there. But this is just the ones that we think that the, the pack is hitting um, with what's there. Um, and it's just there for your convenience so that you can kind of draw, draw from that for, for your own sort of records and things. Um, so I think that's us covered section four. Again, we've covered the, the first three sections in our previous video. If, if you're interested, you can go and have a, a wee watch back at that. If it's just sort of... Um, walking through that in a wee bit more detail, we're going to bring Tara back to join us and hopefully we'll have a few questions in from some of the people who are tuning in. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Thanks very much, Darren and Lydia, for that. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting to... It's exciting to hear actually you guys speaking about the pack in a way for us, like I'm speaking for, I'm speaking on behalf of the protests and suffragettes team, which is a kind of a strong core of at least eight people. So, and I think um, I speak for all of us when I say it's been really inspiring to work with you because obviously we have such a passion for the materials, but we're not professional educators um, in the same way. So it's been just a real joy for us to work with yourselves. So I think we've got some Shall we go straight to the questions? I think because we've got you know eight or so minutes left, and we do have some. I think there's some queued up, um, and I've also got some feedback. But let's start with the. You want to? How do you want to? How do you want to? Rock it, Darren. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. I've got a few questions here. Mm -hmm. um, there's one question. Can you say more about what you are doing with Wiki? Um, that's probably one for you, Tara. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Protests and Suffragettes has been working with Wiki. Wikimedia UK, which is sort of the 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 UK branch of Wikipedia, which is obviously an international um, resource, but also has international branches. So we've run um, in concert with Dr. Sarah Thomas, who's the Scot Scotland's coordinator for Wikimedia UK. We've run a number of what they call Wikipedia editathons or Wikipedia workshops. Um, and on those, for those, we usually run them. There's kind of a, a how to edit wiki. And then we sort of open up sections of our archive and people work to move information out of our archive and onto Wikipedia, um, which is obviously wildly wildly more useful than it's sitting in our you know our collective drives <laughs> so we are planning some wiki workshops in the new year in late january february um, and early march in the run-up to international women's day if you're interested in being involved in that the best thing to do is to just get in touch with us through our socials and or wash our socials because we'll we'll announce them um, i should say there are i believe four one, two, three, four, five um, suffrage activists who are in the suffrage at Trump's deck who do not at this moment have a Wikipedia article. And that is something that we'll be working on in January to to address. So, yeah. Great. We've had a really nice comment um, come in. I'll just, I'm just going to put it on. It's in two parts, but it's from Gemma. And it says, what I love about the Resources is how engaging they are. They are striking and interesting and catch one's eye. This helps when using them in class. I must admit, there's much more that we can do. So much potential to use across the curriculum and across different year groups, not just also studying suffrage as part of the certificate courses. Brilliant. We're totally on the same wavelength. Like, what a lovely comment. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Gemma. That's super inspiring. Sorry. On yeah. you go. On you and go, also, Darren. Oh, there's a comment as well from Kirsty. Thanks. I still use in my history class. Um, please, Kirsty, let us know how you got on with it. We'd love to see some photographs and um, hear any feedback you've got. Uh, I've got a question. Where or how should we send photos and feedback? Um, 
Yeah. Shall I take that? Yeah, Tara, you take that. Yeah. So I think the best thing to do, we could maybe just put that up on the screen if if you if you have um if I'm still sharing, there we go, my screen. So um the best thing to do is to just you can get in contact with us um through our socials, um, through our website, or just email us. Um it's protests and suffragettes at gmail.com. Apologies, I thought that was on the slide as well. But if you just get get a hold of you can send them directly to us within the education pack. Um, within the downloadable resources, um, it does say, please send all materials to us. And we're just basically collating those. So the the KWL sheets that that you saw already, those are ones that, um, you know, that that someone has already kindly sent in. So, yeah. Great. Um, so another question here. Are we too late to get back? <laughs> Tara, that's one for you as well, I think. <laughs> Okay, so we had, as I said at the beginning, around 300 applications or schools or teachers who registered interest in receiving a free education pack. We obviously have funds through the crowdfunder for 100. We have allocated all of those. Um, but we are, and thank you for prompting me because I think I would have forgotten otherwise, we've decided to do a sort of a giveaway um, for two of the packs for a variety of reasons I could go into um, if you'd like. So for that, we're going to start those either late this week or beginning of next week. We'll have a giveaway all next week. So if you are a school or a teacher who would like a pack um, and wasn't able to register or or wasn't for whatever reason chosen i'm sorry we couldn't give one to everyone who registered um please watch our socials and then participate in that so that's one way to get a pack the other way to get a pack is through our new online shop we are selling them we're a new sort of social enterprise just becoming a social enterprise um so we are selling the packs and you're more than welcome to purchase one the other thing i will say is that we're selling individual items so the individual items that are in the packs like the trump's cards we are selling those and zines and these posters we're selling those in order to raise funds to be able to subsidize packs. So if you're a school and you would like a pack and you know the price is a little bit out of reach, um, then get in touch with us just to, so that it's we're being clear and not opaque. The packs are priced at 200 pounds for the resources, um, which is less than they are individually um, and the best that we can do at the moment. But like I said, it's possible for us to subsidize based on, you know, people really kindly purchasing things. So please do get in touch. I mean, if we could give the, if we could give one to every school, we really would. And that is actually um, a goal is to raise money to give another hundred out. So. Okay. And um, there's another question here that is, who is your favorite suffrage activist? <laughs> Tara, I'm not going to give that one to you because I don't think you could answer that. So we go to Lydia. Oh, you go. <laughs> I can't choose either. <laughs> mine's, mine's, I've, I've got two, but I'll go with Dr. Elsie Inglis is, is my favorite. Um, I, I just love this story. And also, um, I happened to be working on the cards and mm. I, my, my wee girl was born when I was working on them and I called her Elsie after El, mm. Elsie Inglis as well. So. Yeah, I'll go with Elsie Inglis is my favourite. But also Jane Ray, because she's from Clydebank and I'm from Clydebank. So. <laughs> <laughs> Too right. And besides, we need to profile the working class suffrage activists. You know, I think yeah. they don't, they they are not as well known as they should be. Um, and that is something that we'd really like to change. We've also got a comment from, um, is it Kirsty Thompson Dale from F Facebook? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Uh, didn't know the suffragettes were first used card in the campaign. So actually, I don't know how how um, it's, it's widely um, sort of accepted. I guess that they were they were the first campaign to brand themselves. Um, so, but I don't know how much um, official facts um, exist behind that. If I'd imagine it'd be very difficult to make that official. But they're widely widely accepted that they they were the first um, campaign to brand themselves through color and through. Their, their uniforms and um, all the rest of it so yeah, it's really interesting there's, there's some slides in the pack about that as well yeah and i think the other thing to say is that a lot of the um you know as a as a sort of a, a creative group of people we are 
we spend a lot of time thinking about the creative activism or the cr the creative ways in which the suffrage activists and other activists sort of engaged or they kind of impacted the public realm, you know, all of those things. Um, so I'll just stop sharing my um, screen for a minute if I can. So, um, so, and the, the, suffragette trumps have within them a number of different sort of creative interventions. So there's the suffragette penny, you know, the sort of suffrage activists defacing the king's, you know, the literal defacing of, of the king on the suffragette penny. There's the suffrage oak, um, you know, there's all of those types of interventions. There's chalking. I'm a big fan of chalking myself. Um, there's chalking. There's also the banner making. So I think all of these things are ways that are really, um, are very creative ways that, not just um, as the comment that we got, I think was that from from Gemma Tipping, that it's not just about teaching suffrage in the classroom. It's about using the kind of creativity of those activists in mm -hmm. other areas of the curricula in other like there's actually no no end. I mean, of course, I'm really biased, but I yeah. think there's there's a lot of room for that, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. And, and we've, we've all also been really excited by the relevance of all of this and everything that's going on now, you know, all the different movements and campaigns that are going on now, and it's it's just all links so well. Um, and to say that, to, to think that they were, they were the first recognised sort of um, campaign brand, and you think how important that is now to every campaign, you know, it's still the same sort of tactics, I guess. Um, there's, Kirsty's given us some great comments. She's just said, also exciting because there was a suffragette who came to our school um, and attacked the maths teacher after he had told her off at a suffrage meeting. She whipped him in class. <laughs> we really need to know more, Kirsty. We really need to know more. That's uh, Broughton High School. That's yeah. thank you for sharing that. That's absolutely amazing. And yeah, that is such a such an incredible like focus point for you, isn't it, in terms of your teaching? So yeah, please send us more about that because we we actually would like to know. And I don't. I mean, I am not the most knowledgeable of the entire team in terms of kind of all of the histories we're lucky to have a lot of people but i i am gonna guess that no one in our team is aware of that so please please genuinely send us that information that sounds amazing that's great amazing uh, we've got i've got one more question here do you have any more i've got one more um that is what are the plans for the project in the next year um i guess that's one for you as well tara I'll take it first. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, so I think the first thing is what, what I've already said. So we had 300 schools and teachers apply. So, you know, our heart is to be able to provide access to these resources to all of the schools and teachers who would like them. So that is, I think, um, you know, goal one is raise more money, <laughs> sell more individual cards, find more money from funders um, and be able to produce another round of packs. I think that's, that's thing one. Um, we're also, as we said, working with Wikipedia. So those are kind of more free sort of online and in-person um, activities and actions that we'll be doing in the new year. Um, and those are also designed to make the information that we've found more accessible um, and to make it accessible in a way that it's worldwide. So I think we're interested in, in trying to be impactful with our time, as impactful as we can be. Um, so those are two. And then the third is in the run-up to International Women's Day, Although, sorry, that's just the beginning of, of 2022, isn't it? I can't think too much further than that at the moment, you know, because we got to get through the holidays. But in the run up to International Women's Day, I think we'll do another series of events and we might even do another another art walk in Glasgow. So that's that's us. What about for for yourselves, bra talent folks? I mean, it'd be good to continue the collaboration and do another version. Yeah, that's in the plans, isn't it? Definitely, yeah, absolutely. I think especially this section four, we want to develop that a lot further and um, get a lot more um, links to different areas of the curriculum. Um, we also are just really interested in getting as much feedback as we can from teachers because it's one thing developing lesson activities and ideas, but it's another thing delivering them in a classroom to, so to hear um, how they're landing, to hear how teachers are adapting them. Um, and how we could potentially adapt them in, in the learning resource would, would really excite us. So we, we definitely want to keep that going um, and, and build up on this um, to make it to make all the information, I guess, even more accessible. And you know, it's, it's such a mountain of research that the protest and suffragettes team and all the 
the collaborators and contributors have done and we just want to try and make as much of that um, accessible for teachers um, and hopefully do a bit of the heavy lifting so that you're able to spend your time um, delivering and making the lessons exciting. I've got a little bit of feedback I can put up and also some images on the screen. Um, yep. Or how, how are you? How are you feeling? I know we should probably. Yeah, yeah, soon, I think, I think soon, you should. But... Can, I, can I also just, we've just had another wee, um, comment from, from Gemma. I'll just share. Um, I agree, we have a lot of momentum on Battle Code 26 and skills, and a desire to promote youth movements is really big at the moment. Using these themes and resources will help you post to do this. Great. Yep. Thank you, Gemma. Yeah. And literally do let us know. I mean, this is for everyone watching now and watching in the future, just to kind of double down on what, what Darren and Lydia have already said. Like, we actually really want to make, like, the goal is to make this resource as useful as possible. And also so that you can, you can focus, as Darren just said, on delivering, you know, so we would really be delighted to hear if there's things that you wish were in the pack that aren't in the pack if there's you know all of those things um it's really good for us to know and we've had some specific suggestions for for example um a teacher got in touch to say that her students are doing they're making their own posters or they're making their own trump's cards um and she wanted to know if it was possible to get like a bundle of images of all of the activists so we're kind of working on that it would you know It'll take us a little bit because obviously some of the images are wiki and some of them we've purchased rights for, but not for that. But regardless, things like that, it's a really specific request, which can we can action that. So um, don't be shy, you know. <laughs> so shall I share some? Yeah, great. So these are just images. We'll just end with some images and just a couple of, of teacher um, comments. So these are images from um, Lenzi Academy from last week. Um, I love this one because you can see the cards themselves that um, the student's looking at. Um, that, yeah. And here's, this is, I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but they're making a list of the suffered, you know, Scott suffragists and suffragettes, which is great. Um, and also this is from the History Links Museum, their Young Curators Program up in Dornoch. So also just to say, it's not only schools, we, it's primarily schools, but we do have some youth groups um, and they are sharing, the History Links Museum is sharing with Dornoch Academy um, as well. And these are from Our Lady and St. Pat's, um, which also just came came in. So thank you so much for sharing all of those. It's really lovely for us to see them. And I'll just, um, I'll just share a little bit of feedback. Is that okay? Um, and if anybody has any final questions, just throw them, holler, holler at us. So um, this is from Christina Baxter, um, Lindsay Academy. Can you, can you read that or shall I read it out? Is that? Read it out. Okay. I used some of the downloadable materials with my S4s today. The timeline task was really useful in giving the class an overview of the Scottish campaign for the vote, and they enjoyed using the suffragette trumps to find out information on individual campaigners. A few pupils had a rather competitive game going on by the end of the lesson, and one asked if it was possible to get the cards, and of course the answer is yes. <laughs> this is also continuing. So although her class had some had some good knowledge about campaign methods they did not know much about the scottish context so and i think that like really goes to the heart of what we're hoping to achieve with this pack um and i'll just go quite quickly on this is um louise dickinson from our lady in saint pat's um s my s4s used the suffragette trump's cards which they loved as it was still learning but fun they really liked researching the different suffragettes finding out that there was more to the suffrage campaign than the Pankhursts. And can I just say, um, Ms. Louise Dickinson, that I think the team and I did a collective like victory lap when we got your <laughs> feedback there, because this is literally part of the, the, the heart of the project is just to expand that. Oh, nothing wrong. You know, obviously the Pankhurst deserve their place, but um, there was so much more going on. So back to the students, they were really engaged with this task and I really enjoyed listening to their discussions about why their suffragette was more important than their peers. Some great debate was had. 
Okay, and this I think is continuing on. Yeah. When they had finished the game, they had to pick one activist from the pack and research them further. Again, it was great to see the enthusiasm they had for this. It was also just lovely to see them laughing and having fun while learning. They've started to make their own version of the cards based on their chosen suffragette. Um, and I'll just end with this. Um, this one we shared last last two weeks ago as well. Um, so this is Louise Walker from Langham Academy. So received the pack last week. The Trump cards are brilliant. And the first time I have seen such a range of Scottish females remembered or even named for their protests. This is great to see. That's so lovely. Oh, but we haven't, we haven't seen all that feedback, so it was, it was so nice to see. Oh, yeah. You know, like we've always been working together on this for yeah. over a year, so just um, getting feedback on, on it in actions, so rewarding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, any final questions from folks who are watching, or is that, um, I think that's, that might be us. Yeah. yeah so, we've got a little bit of a follow on from the commentary previous, we have identified that it was Ethel Moorhead who whipped the maths teacher. Um, and I have to say what I know about Ethel, that is not surprising. I'll just, I, ha I literally happen to have her card. So I'll just put that, I've, I've, I've shared, I've shared that, Darren, you can, if you want, you can put that on. So Ethel Moorhead um, was called Scotland's, well, has been called Scotland's most turbulent suffragette um, <laughs> by some. And um, in, in addition to um, terrorizing a math teacher at your school, she also threw an egg at Winston Churchill. So, you know, not a shy one, our Ethel. <laughs> And maybe a good, a good, uh, good one to end to end on. There is that all right? <laughs> not really, not really possible to to top throwing an egg at Winston Churchill. Um, or, but we hope that no other math teachers have been terrorized, you know, lately in your school. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you everyone for joining us, um, and thank thanks, you. Darren and Lydia. Thank you for all of your work on the resources. Um, it's been a total honor to work with you on this in every way. Um, and look forward to hearing what the te what what you teachers have to say about it now and also later. And please do send us, you know, information, suggestions, comments. It don't all have to be positive. We can take it. Um, and um, KWL sheets, all that, just what your learners think, what you think. Yeah. We will be putting out in the new year another version of the downloadable resources. Yeah. And that, as Lydia said in her presentation, will have included in it more links, um, also maybe some updates and based on your feedback. So we really mean it when we say let us know what you wish was there, because um, that's part of what we're, we're committed to do is to improve the resource. Thank you. Okay. Thanks so much. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks, everyone. Lovely to see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>